Let's do it again. This time, the bunyip. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hyde. If you're new here, we do zines about cryptids using no research at all and only what's in my little noggin. Today, we are going to do one that's actually a little special this time. I don't know what a bunyip is, but I decided let's do a fun one today and try and do the bunyip. So here, here's the only thing I know about a bunyip. Oh, actually, no, I know a couple of things, actually. Ooh, look at us uh, starting off strong. <laughs> I know that the bunyip is Australian. And I think I know that the bunyip is a dragon of some sort. And I only know this because it was mentioned in passing on last podcast on the left, like like literally they were like oh yeah and the bunyip that's a dragon or whatever so i'm not, I'm not actually sure if that's correct because i'm sure they do research but not for offhand comments like that so uh we're gonna have to figure this out uh guys i'm at a loss here not really sure what to do about that um so, I guess we'll just go with what I would assume a bunyip would look like. Did I do this right? It's been a while since I've made a zine, so why not start with a hard one? Okay, so for this, I think what I want to do is kind of keep changing the shape of it as I go to kind of represent my lack of knowledge. Um, <laughs> I don't know exactly what to do here. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the... I'm not even going to start with a brainstorming sesh because there's literally nothing that I know about this. Um, so let's just go. All right. So, things I know about the bunyip. <laughs> I think I usually put the no in quotes. Or in quotes. I do it in the center. And good news for anybody who watched my last video, I actually am on to something for my new design for my tarot cards. You know what we haven't had in a minute? A backwards letter or number that I've actually caught. I, I'm sure probably... See? Ooh, I did it. Okay, hold on. A boot. <laughs> I wonder if I've done any backwards stuff and just didn't notice and everybody in the comment or everybody in the who watches the video are like screaming at the screen. I didn't get any comments about it though so maybe not. Okay. New development too. I think I figured out how to do a bubble letter Y. Kind of better, right? Still kind of ugly though. Wow, I am rusty, guys. Okay. All right, so going off the information that I have, one that it's Australian two, that it may be a dragon, and three, that it's called the bunyip, which makes me think of a bunny. I'm going to do kind of a mix of a bunny and a dragon, and then we'll see. <laughs> we'll see 
um, what what we can do. I don't know if I should look it up after and then post it or if I should wait and then redo the zine after I research it. I don't know, but would research the zines be fun for you guys? <sighs> All right, let's get a new piece of paper or a sketchbook and we'll we'll try and do a little sketch. All right, and this is appropriate. We got my cryptid sketchbook, so we got a fresh page and we'll scoop this over. So for a bunyip, I'm thinking if it's a dragon, it's going to have like these eye caps, right? And possibly like a big ass nose. I don't want it to be in profile though, because that's not going to help me. I always draw things in profile and then it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know how to draw it forward. Okay, so we're gonna do like dragon nose and then eye caps and some eyes and then maybe like a horn, a couple of horns and then since it's a bunny, can we just do like little bunny ears? And then and I want it to have teepees. Not like that though. <laughs> Can I give it blushies too since I don't know what it is? And then what's its body gonna look like? I think I want it to have like claws like this. I want it to have like a little body. And oh, yes, okay, hold on. I just had a brain, brain idea. Big brain. Now, I don't know what a kangaroo looks like, but I'm thinking maybe like, oh wait, they have the long feet, right? They go like this. That's a kangaroo. And then they have the big long tail that comes out, but then I want it to have spikes. I apologize for my brain. That a kangaroo? <laughs> Didn't give it a pouch. Is that? I don't want the bunny ears to be a little longer. What are we thinking, guys? Yeah. I mean, I wish it had more of a neck, but think we're on to something. So we got kangaroo body. Oops. Kangaroo. And then we got dinosaur spikes or dragon spikes. And bunny ears. Nice. Okay. Now that we got an idea, let's do a silhouette. Why does it look like a Pokemon? <laughs> and then we're just gonna do a bunch of question marks. I'm actually really like excited to see if I got anything right because dear lord I don't even know 
I am so lost. Okay, so let's actually, let's keep with the positivity, guys. Let's do the backdrop. What does Australia look like? I know I should know this. Dude, like, the Crocodile Hunter was like one of my favoritists ever. So I would always watch his stuff and sh I should know what Australia looks like, but uh, I do not. So let's go like this. We're going to put a backdrop back here. And remember, I always go across. So we're going to do that. I remember there being like trees, but not like a lot, like just one little tree that is that Africa, though. Mm. That doesn't look Australia y to me. I don't know what Australia looks like. Man, I should have asked for hints before I started this. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so I kind of just want like a sun coming up. That is also Africa, I'm realizing, because I'm probably trying. Like, my brain is subconsciously basing this off of uh, the intro scene from Lion King, so... Oops. Oopsie-daisy there. Um, kinda love him. Ooh, I just want him to have a little mussy mustache. So cute. I actually really like it. Like, I'm really intrigued. I want to see if I'm even close at all. I doubt it. When I first heard Bunyip, my brain immediately went to bunny. It's a bunny, it sounds cute. But then I heard that it was a dragon. So then I shifted gears. I was like, well, it's probably still cute. It's a Bunyip. I'm sure it's probably something scary as hell too, because it's Australia. Not that there's anything wrong with Australia, but if you're scared of something in Australia and it's not a giant dinner plate size tarantula or a, the most venomous spider in the world or the most venomous snakes in the world or a 12 foot alligator, crocodile? Uh oh, I think it's crocodile. But you're afraid of this? That's a problem, right? that this is more of a problem than that <laughs> in my in my thought process so let's see I'm gonna say it's probably just rocky I am so sorry if this is not right guys I am uncultured and untraveled so I don't want to put like a snake just because I like snakes and spiders but you see a snake coming up on me and it's venomous? No, thank you. King Cobra? Absolutely not. No thanks. Okay, I think that's cute. I mean, my bunyip's cute. So that's saying something. It's definitely not fully my style, but we'll get there. Here comes disclaimer. I don't know anything, guys. I don't even know where it lives. Where does it live? Is it water-based? Is it sun? Like, is it tied to any, like, natural disasters? What is its... What, it, what kind of... Well, I don't know, guys. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> Disclaimer. I'm just gonna do this blank so I don't have to worry about stuff. There we go. That's a good disclaimer. There's like nothing to tie anything in, but we'll just let that be. Now here's where I do the origin. <laughs> I kind of just want to cop out and be like, origin, I have no freaking idea. Let's just do big bubble letters for origin. That might be too big. Do 
do we either want to go, uh, I don't know, or do we want to make up a crazy fake origin? They're like, I don't know, do we want to go like half and half? I want my little hide person to be in here. They say to write the words first and then do the word bubbles so that you don't mess up and cut off the words and make the spacing all weird, but they've never met me. <laughs> and my ability to cut words off and make spacing weird in any kind of situation. That kind of works. Sorta. Of. What do I usually do on this page? Oh, also known as. Oof. That's gonna be hard. Um, let's go, um, is probably a dragon. So... Why does the G look bad? I'm just gonna... Okay, probably a dragon. And then we're gonna do like, I think I wanna do like the ears. This one looks cute. Getting better each time. <laughs> I don't know how to draw dragons, guys. Okay, so then we're gonna do what I think um, it'll look like. So, uh, let's say, so let's do this again. Let's have bunny ears, and the eyeballs, and the nose. Wish it was a little more consistent, but honestly, we're lucky we even have a design. <laughs> I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna connect two panels, ha! Huh? Can I give it one more characteristic this late in the zine? Because I kind of want it to have like super muscly arms. Like a kangaroo. It's little tiny paws. <laughs> <laughs> little muscly arms with like a vein. crack myself up. So the reason I'm making it a kangaroo, not because just because it's Australia, but because a lot of cryptids are mistaken animals. So like, again, and I don't know a lot about Australia, so you know, that's on me, but I'm assuming that there are a lot of kangaroos around just based off of you know, videos and stuff that I've seen online. So I'm thinking maybe they mistook a kangaroo or something like a little tiny wallaby or something as one of these at some point. Although I'm adding spikes to it, which definitely doesn't seem like a kangaroo characteristic. Yeah, look it. Buff. Yes, okay. So six is gonna have the what I assume it looks like.
This is not gonna work, I just realized. Oh well. Wait. Oh, damn it, I did it wrong. Okay. It should have been here or... Man, it's the only one, so I'm gonna erase this. Yeah, so um, it would be better if it was on this page and then the tail went that way. You know what? This, this whole thing is a shit show anyways. We're just gonna keep going with it. <laughs> I'm so bummed out, I messed it up. Okay. Other than it being on the wrong page, it looks pretty cute. Okay, and then we're gonna go with, it's from Australia, which I don't know how to draw anything from Australia. I'm thinking that I wanna do a more in depth, uh, like an actual researched one for this to like kind of give it a fighting chance <laughs> just to make it fair. Also, it'd be fun to like see what I got wrong. I mean, I didn't really do a lot, but like the way it looks. Did I spell Australia right? A-U-S-T-R-A-L-I-A. -A. Cool, I did Australia right. And we will draw. I'm gonna do a really shitty job of pretending I know what the shape of Australia is. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. And then there's like a peak here and then it goes up and then it looks kind of like a kidney bean. And then... Is that Australia? Cool. I like it. Okay. So here is the final sketch of the zine all done. Now let's get some pencils out, colored pencils, and we'll choose the color scheme. So, Australia. Orange? Um, brown? Green? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know what though? I do know that a kangaroo is a kind of tawny color. So, here's your chest page. Maybe not that color. This might be too orange. Yeah, it's a little too orange. Burnt ochre. That's too dark. This one might work. And then, what about you? You like a tan? Maybe for like the shading? I think those will work. And then for the dirt, I think I do really like poppy, but I don't think that's the right color for it. Maybe a little more purpley. I mean, there's the dark purple. It's too purple. Ooh, what about Tuscan red? Yeah, that one's good. Okay. So we want Tuscan Red for the ground, I think. I think this one will work. Ooh, look at these. These are good colors together. Okay. And then we want one that is like a pop of color. Kind of like this color. Which is also aquamarine. Okay. Let's go with that.
Alright, so this is the finished zine. Let me clean up real quick and then we'll go over it together. Okay, so we're gonna start with <laughs> things I know about the bunyip. Disclaimer, I don't know anything about the bunyip and I didn't do any research. Basically none of this is true. Sorry. Origin. I don't know, but I assume it's something terrifying because Australia. Super uneducated. <laughs> it is probably a dragon, maybe. No. It has bunny ears, dragon face and spikes, buff arms, and a kangaroo body and tail. And this is what I assume it looks like. It is from Australia, and this is an arbitrary spot that I chose to put it in Australia. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like it, leave a like. If you know about the bunyip and know anything that I should have added, please uh, leave that in the comments down below. I would love to know how wrong I got this. <laughs> And um, let me know if you would like me to do a researched bunyip zine to replace this one or to pair with it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!